Uh, okay, so this requires some explanation. Warning. I am about to talk about something I have no understanding of. However, I will try to relay this to the best of my ability. In the world, there is a type of entertainment medium known as virtual YouTubers, short VTubers. Now, these VTubers are retards and they don't know how to do anything on their own. So they agree to participate in these agencies, they're called, uh, who will promote their streams and handle some of the business logistics for them, help them with their models and their gear, and, and basically help them with their, their business of catering to adult men on the internet. The largest of which, I believe the largest, or one of the largest, Niji Sanji, uh, started i okay i could be wrong about this I will, I will, i'll preface this one of their biggest talents one of their biggest retards uh vtuber people was a lady quote unquote and her name was like selen or saren no it wasn't saren it was selen right let me double check this real quick vtuber selen tatsuki is this it yes selen i was right uh, Selen Tatsuki is like a, the, the real person who manages this character is like a, a I want to say like a Hapa chink who lives in the United States. And she was one of the, I want to say she was one of the original, um, VTuber types. I think, she, I think she was one of the largest for Nijid Sisan, but she is a mentally ill Hapa chinky lady and she wanted to kill herself. Um, and because of this, she went to like a psychiatric hospital and then Niji Sanji, which is like a Japanese company, said, What? Oh, oh, you try to end your life. This is very shameful to spray uh, and very unproductive of you to, to try to kill yourself. Uh, so you are fired. Protest. And so they terminated their contract with her because of her mental health issues. I believe it's specifically because she tried to kill herself and stopped streaming uh, without any kind of announcement. Uh, firing her was a big deal because she's popular and firing her over heckin' mental health aronies uh, to a Japanese company would be obvious. Someone tries to kill themselves. Well, how the fuck are you going to work if you're dead, idiot? You're fired. In America, mm -mm, we got sensibilities. We got mental healths that we consider is very important. You got to take care of your mental health. Uh, so this was a faux pas. And Americans were outraged that... Uh, the heckin' based Nipperinos were not taking care of their talent. So the outrage mounted. And the uh, Niji Sanji company, not able to understand what these fucking fat retard Americans are complaining about. Obviously, if you kill yourself, you should be fired. Uh, put several statements out, each one apparently worse than the last. So I'll read this. I'll read this in a racist voice to the benefit of my audience. Regarding concerns that have arisen in relation to the current situation, in the stream done earlier by our Rivers. Now, okay, when I read, uh, started reading this, um, Livers is what they call the people who manage the VTuber personalities. It is spelled identical to liver. So it took me a second to figure out why they kept talking about livers. But now I understand it's Liver, as in a live YouTuber, okay? By our arrivers, a message from Niji Sanji in, in. It was mentioned that parts of the information received from Saren and her lawyers were shared to them by Anikawa Inc. As mentioned, the stream and the notice published by Anikawa Inc. Notice termination of Saren Tatsuki contract with Anikawa. Saren and her lawyers claimed that rivers affiliated with Anikawa were involved and they were whole Anikawa legally responsible. Um, so, explanation. Termination of contract with any color. Uh, Niji Sanji in Japan is a publicly traded company. So as a result of uh, any kind of serious um, business update, they are required to inform their investors about potential issues that may arise in the company as a result of things like letting people go, terminating contracts unexpectedly, and so on. So when uh, Niji Sanji terminated their contract with the person responsible for the selling uh, character 
they pub they published an internal memo um, to their other team members and to their investors, and warned them that uh, they let her go and their stated reason for letting her go were X Y Z. And apparently, this notice came across as very uh, offensive and very. Um, they said to their investors, "We think that losing Selen will be a negligible impact on their bottom line." So the term negligible to someone who, you know, a lot of people have parasocial relationships with is like very offensive to them. So they got really pissy with the, the company. Um, but I'll continue. Sharon and her lawyers mentioned, oh, wait, I read that. In order to check the validity of Sharon and her lawyers claim, any cover Inc. shared only necessary parts of the information sent by her lawyer with her rivals and read an internal investigation. To begin, with, any color ink has not made any confidentiality variations regarding submitted documents for regal claims, such as all these. However, regarding the specific information and documents which Sherwin's lawyers requested, we will not share it with our rivals with utmost consideration of this request. Any color ink has not shared any such information. In addition, our rivals are not held to any confidentiality obligation regarding the information shared to them from any color ink. Thus, no legal issues regarding the information shared to the public in the stream made by our rivals. After a rigorous legal check, any color ink hereby declares that it has not made any confidentiality violations while checking with the validity of these claims made by Sherman and her lawyers with his affiliated rivals. Um, which means that what happened is, is that this lady. Elira Pandora did a stream, and you can tell it's a really serious stream because it's just black. Uh oh, streamer only black screen. That means serious. And you can even see, like, in this message, it's like, oh my god, you have to be respectful and honorable while talking about this. And they were getting, they were like moderating themselves, like, no, don't make fun of anything. You have to take it seriously. Mental health. And the streamers talking about this uh, ended up, I think this came about, this message came about because of this stream. Because it's like, why are the people who work at Niji Sanji able to talk about the the bitch trying to kill herself? Um, like, how do they know that? And they apparently know that because Niji Sanji passed that information around to explain. We let her go because she's fucking crazy and she tried to kill herself. Don't worry about it. We're not, we're not like firing people. Your jobs aren't at risk. Don't worry about it. She's just a crazy bitch. And then they talked about it. And then all the people that like selling were like, uh, why did why did we know that she tried to kill herself? It's not a violation of confidentiality agreements. And the answer is no, legally, basically, they didn't do anything wrong. Probably in Japan too. Uh, but then, blah, blah, blah. And then, okay, so this is their official, official statement. And you might be thinking, Josh, your racist Japanese accent is unrealistic oh. and offensive. However, I invite you to listen to this man. And let me cut the cut captions on. First off, this bow is really, really creepy. But he does it at the beginning and end. It's extremely off-putting to me as an American. I don't want to see the top of your head. Uh, but apparently that's a Japanese business thing, especially because he really, 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 really fucked up. Hello, I'm Rick Tazumi, CEO of Enikara Inc. I'm making this video to speak directly to you, the fans of Nisanji EN and everyone who supports the Buchiba industry. First of all, I deeply apologize for causing concern to many people. Please allow me this time to address your concerns. First, let me apologize for a misunderstanding caused by the notice published on our investor relations page on February 7th. After announcing the termination of Seren's contract, we received questions from investors regarding the impact this would have on company performance. The notice was published to respond to investors. In the notice, we unfortunately used the expression negligible to describe performance impact. Our wording lacked consideration for the situation and caused Nissan EN funds and everyone who supports the Buchiba industry to feel that Enikaro Inc. undervalued the impact of Seren's contract termination or Seren herself. I deeply regret this outcome and we'll be rethinking how our communication in English is done. Without a doubt, Seren was integral to the growth of Nissan GEN. As a company, it That's is... That's why I said, um, 
she might have been important because he says that. I, I'm not sure if she's like old school to the company. There's one more thing that I want to point out to this. I just wanted to play a little bit of that so you can understand how how fucking serious this is. Where they obviously got like a real writer out to prepare this statement. And they got the CEO bound and shit. Um, oh, wait, here. In this part right here. Our rivals. This part. I deeply apologize. Next, I will address the feedback to our announcement, which led to the idea that Anycrow Inc. may not be providing a safe environment where the rivals can maintain good mental health. We take full responsibility for this situation, where not only Anycrow Inc., but also our rivals are uh, receiving hurtful messages. I deeply apologize to our rivals and to everyone who supports them. That line in particular is like the best line in the entire thing. And I'm not even being ironic because as much as I want to make fun of the Japanese, I have to hand it to them because um, if this was a Western company, and like this has happened again and again where anytime any kind of controversy happens and people start sending shitty messages to people on the internet they come and said ah, you know we might have been in the wrong but all you hateful bigots out there sending nasty mean harassment terrorizing and death threats death threats to people who didn't do anything shame on you shame on you out there and then this guy is like uh, yeah, so can you, uh, all of our, all of our staff are being harassed now because we pissed off a bunch of angry retard nerds and we're really sorry that our actions instigated these angry retard nerds into behaving like belligerent psychopaths. Um, that's unique because usually it's like these companies tend to chastise the public. Like, I can't believe you guys are acting like this. Very very honor a brew that's right um i have nothing more to say about this i just find that the the outrage is interesting the the culture clash the japanese trying to figure out why driving someone to suicide isn't permissible in the west but it is uh, an everyday occurrence they've added spikes to the fronts of their electric rails in, in tokyo so that when someone jumps in front of the train uh, they simply get impaled onto the spike so that they can build a family for it later. These these are the adaptations that the Japanese have made to continue their culture in the modern day, whereas the Americans expect them to actually give a shit about some fat chink trying to kill herself because she can't stand all the creepy sexual harassment she gets for puppeting a child character on the internet. Ah. Truly a, a modern age. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Ren. Remember to like and subscribe.